and getting a breath of fresh air. It's something we can take for granted, that fresh, clean air, whether it be inside your home or outside. Here with a closer look at keeping the air we breathe purified, it's Probiotic Air Solutions, Solutions co-owner Chris Burdett. Hey, Chris. Hey there, how you doing? I'm good. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. Let's talk a little bit about Probiotic Air Solutions and what you guys are all about. Sure. So we're a, we're a local company that found kind of a global solution out there, and we want to kind of bring it to our local area. We've we've been purifying uh, air and surfaces uh, nationally with a lot of with assisted living homes and helping them out. But we thought it was time to really focus on our local area now that we've seen the research, uh, we've seen the the benefits and how it really works. So that's kind of why we're here to kind of help get things cleaned up and get started here locally. And I know a lot of people who suffer from allergies, especially this time of year, could yeah. benefit from having um, some type of air purifier in their home. Are you, is that what you do or do you come in and do the purifying or is it a machine? What are sure. we talking about? Sure, there's a lot of different ways to, you know, clean a home. Um, ours hooks up to the duct work, which gives it the best solution. And that helps start cleaning the duct work from day one and then moves out into the air, into the surfaces. And the great thing is, is it gets into all of the different couches, carpets, furniture, surfaces, pillows, beds, and it creates a healthy biome by eliminating all the bad things that exist in your environment, whether that be you know, pet dander, uh, pollen, one of the things that are kind of gross we learn about, dust mite feces, that's a very popular subject. Um, and then as an added benefit, you know, we eat the bad, the food that the bad bacteria needs. So the micro food that like staph infection or E. coli need to live, our system eats that away so that they can't find purchase and can't live in that environment. Now, I'm looking here at your notes, and you mentioned that people, when they're trying to clean their homes, um, I guess, their way, they mm -hmm. may be creating um, a better environment for bad bacteria and viruses. Yeah. How so? So this has been a lot of research that I've been working on. Uh, what happens, I like to think of it as a garden. So when you clean with like a sanitary wipe or, you know, UV lights or different things like that, you're basically killing everything in the environment. And a lot of bacteria is actually good for us. There's a lot of good bacteria out there that's kind of gotten a bad rap. So what we're doing is, if you let's take that analogy of the garden. So if you had a garden and it had all the nutrients and it was healthy and growing vibrant, and then a weed popped up and started to grow, you wouldn't go out and spray the whole garden with some chemical or, you know, kill it all just to get rid of the weed. You know, you'd go out and you would focus on getting rid of that weed. And that's what the probiotic air does. It gets out into the system on the surfaces and it takes out the bad bacteria, you know, the pollen, like I said, the different germs, dust mites, all those things, and creates a healthy biome. So when that, those things come into your store or your gym or your, your, your school, whatever you have going on in your home, they don't have a place to take purchase and grow. Where if you've got it sterilized, that's usually the first thing that grows back, much like a weed in a garden. If you kill everything, first thing that comes back, probably gonna be the weeds. Now, usually when I think of the word probiotic, I'm mm -hmm. thinking of probiotics in food to, you know, help yeah. your gut. How, how are you using probiotics, though, for cleaning? Sure. So our mixture is uh, Bacillus permanent, which is much like, uh, it's not exactly the same as a probiotic that you find in food. I mean, people think of that as a probiotics in my body. I maybe take some medicine to help keep me healthy. We found a way to take the Bacillus permanent mix it with water so it's an all natural solution, there's no chemicals, and then get it airborne into the air. And so we've got all of the uh, safety regulations that show you can breathe it, you can inhale it, digest it, all those things. So let's get our probiotics into our homes so that we can start making them a healthy environment for us also. Yeah, we're about out of time, but I quickly also want to mention having a son who seems to be very smelly and sweaty. Oh. Um, it also yeah. can reduce biological orders like the sweat, gas, dirty socks, along yeah. those lines. So that's the, nice the funny to know. Thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to geek out on all the things that it does with, you know, eliminating all the other stuff. But the biggest thing we get from people is, it eliminated all the odors in my home. It just eliminated all those biological odors. You know, we have a rabbit upstairs. 
we don't know when to clean the cage anymore because it just eliminates that smell. It's just nice. Weird. Okay, I want to also mention you have a campaign going on right now, the Restore CU campaign, mm -hmm. where people can get 20% off an install if completed by August 15th. That sounds like yeah. a great deal and a great opportunity. Yep, we really want to get things kicked off. So, you know, people can just get a hold of us and we can make that happen. All right, you are located in Muhammad. You're on Facebook. You have a website. And we will connect everybody to those things at saliving.tv after today's show. Chris, thank you so much for being with us today. All right, thank you.